Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Gemstone ASMR. I'm really loving being able to post regular videos for you guys. So this makes me really happy. Um, as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when new videos become available. I'm trying super hard to post new videos once every three to four days, so wish me luck. All right, so today we're gonna be going through some more of my jewelry. Let's start with bracelets. So you guys know that I subscribe to paganism or you know witchcraft so to speak and one of the primary principles at least in um, green witchery is the principle of being metal usually silver bone wood and leather so you know in one of the vintage jewelry lots i actually happened to find exactly those bracelets which made me so happy so in front of me is the bracelet representing metal so you can see that this has this really beautiful crushed metal work it's all done by hand as you can see over here and it is a cuff bracelet it's actually adjustable and is in really impressively awesome quality so i absolutely love this one and this is bone. Well, technically it's antler, but it's so awesome. And it makes this nice sound, I love it. And you can kind of see like the grooves and the fluctuations and colors. And it's a little adjustable as well, but as you can imagine, it's quite hard. And I absolutely love this one. And I got two wooden bangles from two separate vintage lots actually this one is really really pretty it has this uh, hand carved markings on it that has the colors um, done by actually carving and burning which i think is pretty it has you know little marks of wear as you can see over here but i think it's just gorgeous as it is i also love that the wood has not been coated or laminated and it's just in its natural groove and texture i love it and this is a different type of wood bracelet as you can see over here and you can see that it is dark and this one is coated love it don't you love that sound i love the sound of you know nail tapping against wood this one's very pretty and fits my skin tone really well and the last one is this beautiful leather bracelet which is coincidentally very much in style right now also in a different vintage lot and this one has two different colors of dyed leather intertwined like this with like a little metal kind of lining going across i think the work on this leather bracelet is just superb so i'm so excited to have this one to complete my wood metal leather and bone collection of cuff bracelets Alrighty, so let's move on to the necklaces so this one is really pretty oh my goodness it's all tangling up now just because i'm trying to show it to you guys it's resisting <laughs> okay so let me untangle this for us there you go so we'll start with this guy so this very beautiful guy is or gal i actually don't know is amazonite and then it has silver beadings going across it and silver um metal clasps and this was bought from an Etsy shop and this was when I was buying a lot of these like dainty beaded jewelry because I loved uh, layering them. So this one's really pretty. This one is from a different Etsy shop all the way from the east coast. And this is actually jade you guys and it has this really pretty silver Buddha as you can see over here which I love. And again a really great layering piece over here. And this is from the same Etsy shop that I got the Amazonite necklace. And this is one of my favorite, favorite gemstones, which is Appetite. It's supposed to be really good for calming your nerves and anxiety and helping you communicate better. All the things that I need in my life. And I just love the color of Appetite. It really does remind me of, you know, the ocean, like particularly around the Central Americas or, you know, the Caribbean. So, yeah, absolutely love this guy. It's also silver. I got this from yet another different Etsy shop. This one actually has natural turquoise lapis lazuli rubies. And I think it is so pretty. It is so reminiscent of like, you know, back in the day, like where 
there were islanders and all these people and i just it also reminds me of the necklace from pocahontas just the coloration i think is stunning so i absolutely love this piece and this is from the same etsy shop it has lapis lazuli and this one is jade the green and then the same ruby beads and again love it it has that whole pocahontas vibes and when you layer it i think it's just so stunning so perfect for the summer i'm very excited to get to wear it in the very near future hopefully and this is from the same etsy shop that i bought the buddha necklace and this one is lapis La lapis lazuli and it is faceted um, gold filled metal and it has that mother of pearl evil eye over here which i think is so beautiful i think faceted lapis lazuli is one of the most beautiful beautiful ways to um, like just use a gemstone back in the days of cleopatra she actually used to confuse lapis lazuli with sapphire and seeing how faceted lapis lazuli looks i can really understand why and from the same etsy store this is actual sapphire with um, rose gold plated silver I believe and it has a little lotus in the center again such a beautiful piece sapphire is my birthstone so you guys you know I love sapphire and now let's see yeah, let's start with the ones that I made so this one is a beaded necklace that I made it has stainless steel clasps it has hematite beads here and here um, gold dyed freshwater pearls and these uh, dark blue ones are lapis lazuli and over here the central stone is quartz but around it are blue dyed agate beads that I sorted by color to create a gradient effect and just a normal jewelry elastic wire and this is a quasi choker 16 inches sits right at the collarbone and i absolutely adore this one it is so there's something about blue that i think just screams particularly lapis lazuli like royalty regalness and i just i think this necklace is so nice and this one is yet another lapis lazuli necklace that i made this one's quite a bit longer it's about 18 inches long and at the center we have some red um, lamprock beads and around it you see two tiger eye stones we have red jasper and then kind of repeating pattern with the lapis lazuli and so on and so forth at the end i put some lamprock glass beads and these are the sad um those crimp plus jump ring clasps that i used when i first started because this is one of the first necklaces that i made and it's a very great layering piece to, you know, um, wear with like either a choker or like a shorter um, beaded necklace. Actually, which reminds me, maybe this will look nice together. Let's see. Eh, not so much. I think this needs to be paired with something like shorter. Maybe this one. Let me try this one. For you guys. Uh, see that looks very cool together. So this is how I like to layer my necklaces and while I'm on this necklace I can show you guys this one. So this is another one that I made. This one is lapis lazuli, some gold dyed freshwater pearls, more freshwater pearls over here. And then this, um, I believe this is just a gold plated brass pendant with the uh, ohm sign. Um, and then that one I just bought from my local bead store and then these are kiwi jasper beads and these are blue agates and these are stainless steel um, clasps and not hiders and this one is a 16 inch necklace very very pretty very very like boho chic <laughs> I love this one and this one's a fun one um, so this one is when I found these like Hamsa um, pendants that have like little glitters on them. They're resin. I got them from Amazon for like super cheap because they were on sale. And then I got really excited and made a whole bunch of Hamsa necklaces. <laughs> so this is one of them. You can see that it's very, very boho, very um, summery. So I'm really excited for summer to get to wear this. And these are basically Hamsa beads interspaced with some Kiwi Jasper, White Howlite, gold plated hematite and some blue agates here this is actually a green mother of pearl and this is white mother of pearl lamprey glass beads continuing to lapis lazuli howlite this you guys is african turquoise really really pretty 
and these are kiwi jaspers and it looks like this and this one's about 17 inches so it hits right below the collarbone so I really really like this one very very boho if we were going to music festivals right now that would be my necklace of choice and this colorful fellow is basically a mixture of these are actinolites also known as cat eye jade some more blue agates you're starting to see a theme here we have some um, this is african jade we have let's see a mahogany jasper here so like a basically a large pish posh of um, different beads these are fossil beads you guys and let me see if i can find good fossils for you here so this was really a good find um, so essentially these beads have fossils in them. Can you see? Super cool. I have another one here. That's like much easier to see. Do you see these fossils? Isn't that the neatest thing in the world? So I got some of these beads from a bead store I think in Calgary and I had to order them online. Um, but totally worth the wait. I absolutely adore them. And over here are the mother of pearl beads. I have some really pretty uh, flower agates here. And these are all rose quartz. And this is what the necklace looks like. Very summery yet again. And this one is another necklace I made. One of the first necklaces I made. And you can tell that from these ugly crimps, unfortunately. So these are lapis lazuli beads interspaced with blue lamper glass beads and tiger eye. It's very, like, it, this reminds me very much of those, like, gemstone necklaces that sometimes you see monks wear if you go to Asia. Absolutely love it. I think gold and blue are some of the most beautiful color combinations. So I really like this necklace. This one I bought from an Etsy shop. And this, you guys, is actually jade. So that's really surprising. It's really incredible how many different colored shades comes in. So this is actually a really beautiful graduated jade beaded necklace. And you can see that it is hand knotted. Absolutely adore this. And from the same Etsy shop, I bought this one, which has a very interesting lariat style. And this one is quite long, actually. But you can see that there's this lapis lazuli beads. Um, very, very nice. You can see like the really nice sparkly metal specks over here connected by just blue normal seed beads. Very, very pretty. Very nice with a sweater. And this one, another one that I made myself using the Hamsa beads. Ta-da! This one's even more outrageously colorful than the other one. <laughs> But again, out of character for me, but you know, once in a while, it's fun to try something that's out of your comfort zone, you know? And I'd like to think that this one turned out quite well. I like that this one's different and that there's definitely more reds here. And the reds are mukite beads. And mukites, as you guys know, come in many different colors. Like this one is a mukite bead, this like red and white one. And that's why I love mukite. You just never know what you're going to get. So this is a very fun, kind of more earthy, like Hamsa beaded necklace. Looks super cute with a white t-shirt. And this one is from a an Etsy shop called Dinosaur Knit. It's definitely probably my favorite Etsy store to buy pearls at the moment. And she also has really beautiful gemstones. This is lapis lazuli interspersed with white mother of pearl beads absolutely adore this one this one is so cute it's only about like 17 inches it's right below the collarbone and it's just such a classy statement piece and this one you guys has the most incredible color and i'm praying that it shows up on camera and this is aquamarine so when i first saw this i was just so stunned by the beauty of the blue isn't that just stunning but yeah these are head knotted aquamarine beads sterling silver clasp absolutely adore it i think it is just so stunning and when i catch the sun oh my goodness it's one of my favorite necklaces ever and that's also from dinosaur knits this one is actually a really touching story so i bought this from a street vendor when i was walking with my husband one day and this lady has a husband who has parkinson's disease and she hand makes these herself and sells them to support her husband and I thought it was the most touching thing ever, so that day I bought a whole bunch of things from her. If I could have, I would have bought everything from her, because her stuff was just beautiful and just such a, such a wonderful, warm, you know, just heartwarming story. 
Yeah, and she was just a wonderful human being, I remember. So whenever I look at this necklace, I think of her and her lovely husband and just the good memories and energies um, that comes from that. So this, this is blue lace agate, which is very appropriate because blue lace agate obviously stands for like calmness and just good vibes. Yeah, so it's, it was the perfect necklace to buy from her. And I really like blue lace agate also because it's supposed to be really good for anxiety, which I certainly need very much in my life. And it's a very beautiful layered necklace with genuine leather over here and connected by a metal clasp. So incredible in the summer. Look how beautifully made this is, you guys. The blue lace agate here is such high quality. You can actually see the individual bandings, which I think is so amazing. And it also makes this really nice sound. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you're relaxed and ready to take on the day or go to sleep. And I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Oh, I got cut off just as I was about to say goodbye to you guys. But anyway. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I see you very, very soon.